If there's one thing that I seriously can't stand about modern Skywars, it's how the map rotations are handled nowadays. Oh shit, okay. That was kind of scary. So, map rotations, I don't even know, man. Where do I start? I mean, when they first started doing weekly map rotations, it was a really big deal. Because before that, we used to have to wait like months upon months for just a single rotation. And the rotations were bigger back then and they were a lot more, I guess, special for the players. It was a lot more of a big deal uh, to receive a map rotation back when they were so um, rare. But, you know, the, the weekly map rotations, the smaller but more frequent rotations were a very welcome change to the game. For obvious reasons, you know, like it mixed up the gameplay. We weren't stuck playing the same maps for months on end. Because if there was like a bad rotation, you know, you just you just had to, you were stuck with it. Like you couldn't decide. This guy might kill me here because he's really stacked. But hopefully the KB sword can carry. I only have two eggs though, so projectiles are, are lacking right now. Oh, okay. They're still alive. Let me lock in real quick. That's it? Nice, GG. The knockback really carried me there. So yeah, weekly rotations are a good thing, and I would never complain about that. But recently, they haven't even been weekly. I mean, they're like bi-weekly. I'm not really sure why. I'm not sure what changed, but it's still, it's still pretty frequent. Oh, that's bad. Am I cooked? Oh shit, how am I alive right now? Let me get his chest. That's huge. I think I have a gap in that other chest, though. There it is. Let's block that off. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm supposed to kill this guy here. Oh, there's a hover. I didn't realize it was a hover. Okay. But yeah, like, bi-weekly rotations, cool. I don't really get why. I don't get why they stopped doing weekly, but it's fine. It's whatever. Like, it's not a bad thing. It's still pretty frequent, especially when you've, you've lived through the, the old rotation system. Like, it's a lot better. But it feels like this comes with its problems of its own. And the most obvious one is that some maps just don't get removed. And if you've played Skywars at all in the last, like, I don't know, two years or something, you probably know exactly what I'm going to say. And that is Onion Ring and Kronos. These two maps have been in rotation for so long. I don't remember exactly how long, but I'll put it on screen. And they just never left, no matter how many people complain about them. Because these two maps, absolutely, like, they're just not good maps. Like, the large majority of people do not like these maps. There's currently a, a, a post on the forums um, by Motogorilla asking what people want to see in the next um, Skywars update. Oh, that's, that's sad. And if you just scroll through the replies, there are so many replies saying to get rid of Kronos and get rid of Onion Ring. I mean, speaking of Kronos, we actually just queued it right now. Not only does this map suck because, I mean, just look at it. Like, this clearly doesn't work in today's meta because there's no room to fight, really. It's really hard to get to mid. It's so easy to just get knocked off like I'm doing to these, these poor souls right now. And depending on what island you're on, there's a chance that you just get a broken island where the loot is, is wrong. Some islands' loot is just incorrect. I think it's this chest here will just have, like, a different island's chest. It's like the, they've mixed up the island configuration or something like that. So it's like, it thinks that the, the third chest belongs to a different island and it like mixes them up or something. I don't know. It's only really noticeable if you understand how like Skywars loot works and like what you can receive from your island loot. Because like you can't receive, for example, you aren't able to get like two chest blades from one island. Oh, this guy time up. He's going to TP back. Okay. Another one. Um, but with this, if you get one of those glitched islands, you, you will get like multiple of like a certain armor piece which is just like an example of how it, it doesn't really work i'm kind of cooked right now i'm not gonna lie if he has another time warp for whatever reason then i'm i'm totally gone um oh bro he's he's really landing these shots this guy's here now as well yeah okay whatever i wasn't really focusing on that game i was just trying to talk about the map but yeah these maps seem to have just been like totally forgotten about i'm sure they're like glitched or something like that like i'm sure like the admins don't actually realize it's still in rotation and the reason i think this is because there used to be uh, a similar issue with the map siege some of you might remember back in i think it was like 2021 or 2022 Siege was just stuck in rotation and the admins didn't actually know that it was in rotation. Uh, I personally don't mind Siege as a map, but a lot of people don't like it and I understand why. I'm like, I'm cooked, man. I don't know what to do here. This guy just got himself killed trying to shoot me. I'm just going to bridge up like this. Okay. I think an admin at the time like confirmed that they actually didn't realize it was still in rotation and it was meant to be removed like a while ago or something at the time. And it was, they only found out because like it was brought to the attention by um, people on the, on the community, including myself. I think a few people started complaining about it. I think, I think this was at the time when they were still doing like monthly rotations or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do want to like clarify that I don't think having maps like Kronos 
is a bad thing necessarily. Just because a map doesn't fit with the current meta of the game doesn't make it a bad map because it actually encourages different playstyles. I can guarantee you'll see a lot more people playing kits like Frog on Kronos because you get jump boost and that's an easier way to get to mid. And that is a good thing. But when an unpopular map like Kronos and like Onion Ring V1 are in rotation for months, years on end, it's just, it's not gonna, you know, the community aren't gonna take it well. There are other examples of maps that keep getting added back to rotation that I think have no business being in the game. Like Atwin. For some reason, they keep adding Atwin back, even though, like, it's just so, like... It's literally a broken map. Or, like, I don't know, they, they removed all the chests from the bottom side of the map so that the, the, the map, the mid only has two um, chests, which is insane for a Skywars map. Like, two mid chests is absolutely crazy. Not really sure what I'm doing down here right now. Try and get out of here. But I don't know, like, I don't know. I do, I have, like, I don't really know where I stand on, on that because there are some maps that I do think should uh, just be permanently removed, but that's more of like a, a personal preference. Like, I'm, I'm complaining about Artwin, but some people do have strategies on that map and some people, you know, probably do like it. Like, I'm not gonna deny the fact that people might like these maps. The issue mainly lies with maps that are just never removed from rotation like this one. But maps like Artwin, they do get um, removed and added, you know, in rotations. It's not like they're stuck forever. I just really don't like it and a lot of people don't like it. But the reason this is strange is because Hypixel have removed some maps from the rotation permanently. Uh, one of these maps is, is Tiki. Tiki, I think Tiki is a fine map. Like it's not, it's not amazing. It's not perfect, but I have no idea why this would be permanently removed from rotation. Uh, the reason we know that this map's permanently removed is because an admin uh, confirmed it. I believe an admin was asked like how the rotations work and they explained how like the weight of a, of a map decides how likely it is to be um, put into a rotation and some maps like Tiki have a weight of zero which means they are completely unlikely to be added. I think this is probably why some maps get stuck as well like I imagine like some maps have a weight of zero to get added but that means they don't get removed as well. So they are in rotation, but they shouldn't be, like they're not meant to be, so like they'll never get considered. But I think if they are gonna do that and they are gonna remove some maps and make them permanently removed from the rotation, then maps like Atwin and Kronos and Onion Ring 1 should definitely be included in that. I understand for maps that like they have lost, like I'm sure there's a lot of old maps that they just don't have anymore. I think it would be really cool to see some of those maps come back, even though they they would be bad uh, for gameplay, probably. Like they, they wouldn't fit in this meta, especially ones like Frozen Throne and stuff like that. But it would be fun for nostalgia. It'd be fun. Like they do, they've said that they like like testing uh, old maps that once weren't received well and seeing how they work now. Like they did that with Fragment. Like Fragment seems to be a lot better received now than it was back in 2018 when it first got added to the queue. I'm still not a fan of it, but like it's it keeps reappearing and people do like it. I know a lot of people who like that map. The whole like concept of maps being permanently removed though is like, I think my opinion on it is that there should be no map that's permanently removed. I don't think that should be a thing because it is like, it's a matter of opinion, right? Whether a map, whether you like a map or not. And if that's how they're deciding on what map should be permanently gone, based on how many people like it, then it's, I don't know, like, it's, it's almost, like, unfair for the people that do like the map, you know? I think maps that are less liked by the community just shouldn't um, be put into rotation as often as others. But I think they should still come back every now and then. Like, I don't mind Atwin coming back every now and then, even though it's probably my least favorite map in the entire game. I don't enjoy playing it, but, like, I don't think it should just be gone forever. However, I do think it should be gone forever if they're gonna do that. Like, if they are gonna remove maps like Tiki forever, then I think Atwin should be one of those as well. I don't know. I, I think that makes sense. I don't know. But if it were up to me, there should there would be no map that's gone forever. Especially Tiki. I like that map, man. It was a good map. Another issue I've had recently with map rotations on Hypixel is uh, to do with seasonal maps. Some of you might know where I'm going with this, bro, but where... Okay. Where is Farmstead? I have never known a Skywars map that's been more in demand. I know it's an Easter exclusive. Oh, shit. I really thought I was gonna win that fight, I'm not gonna lie. Farmstead is an Easter exclusive map, but I have never known a map be more requested, be more in more high demand to be made into a, a, a normal map, a non-seasonal map. It wouldn't be the first time they've done this. Like they have D-skin maps in the past to make them permanent, like in Bedwars. I don't know what the map's called, but there is a Bedwars map that used to be seasonal exclusive and now it's just a normal map because people liked it enough to do that. And I've seen so much demand for, for Farmstead to be treated the same. But sadly, it hasn't. But that's fine, though. Like, I'm not. Ex I don't expect them to do that. It'd be really, really cool if they did. But the one thing that I expect from one of the most popular Skywars maps is for it to at least be put into the rotation 
during its own exclusive season. The map first came out in 2021, and we saw it in 2021, we saw it in 2022. In 2023, it was in rotation for two days. And then this Easter, it wasn't in rotation at all. <laughs> And it's so sad to see, man. It's actually so sad. I remember around the time of Easter, I don't think I played much, but I came back just to play Farmstead and it wasn't even in rotation. It was so sad and it just didn't come in a rotation at all. And I don't get how they, they come to that decision. I've heard that like the map rotations at the minute are done manually by the admins, but it doesn't feel like they're putting players' opinions into consideration at all, really. It's a weird one because I feel like I'm being a bit like unfair, like I'm complaining because it's my favorite map. Which it is, but it's also a lot of other people's favorite maps, or at least they they like it. Like like I said, it's been in very high demand in the past, and uh, I, I just I just don't see why it doesn't come back, man. I really can't understand it. Am I gonna die here? Probably. Oh wait, I'm fine. I do hope map rotations become a bit better, especially with the the Kronos and Onion Ring problem. That's the biggest problem. Um, with map rotations, I think everybody can agree. Even if you do like those maps, I think it's pretty obviously an issue that they just never get removed. Especially when you consider the fact that they are generally the two most disliked maps in the current map pool. Let's just grab this win here. Do a time warp. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, guys, that's all for today. I realize this video was more like negative. <laughs> I was just complaining about map rotations for 10 minutes or whatever. But I feel like this is a problem in Skywars right now. And it's something that I really hope gets fixed, at least in the next update. It's definitely not the biggest problem Skywars has. But when you see the amount of people that complain about like Kronos and Onion Ring, it is definitely, it definitely stands out. Anyway, if you made it this far, comment Farmstead and I'll see you guys next time.